Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back out here again, trying to catch a bass. So, are we ready to catch a bass? It's a great Sunday afternoon and nice weather. A little hot, but it's nice weather. It's nice shady over here. Let's try to catch a bass. All right, let's get started. Put this right here. Tighten it up. All right. Today we're going to fish with my pride and joy rod and reel. Ah, this baby is Johnny Morris Platinum Series rod and reel bait caster. Yep. Very nice. Johnny Morris Super High Speed XPS. It is a. 11 bearing, 8 to 3 gear ratio. And I've got it on a little crawl Texas rig. So that's what I'm going to fish with. <clears throat> we'll get this thing started. See if we catch a bass. All right. Cash number one. Yo. Drag a set. All right. <clears throat> kind of dragging in the bottom with this bullet weight Texas rig. Trying to see if there's anything nearby that'll bite it. See y'all can see all right. All right, we're good. Doing good. Water's a little dirty. It must have rained up here. I just got back from Texas earlier. Looked like we had a little rain. Now, but in yesterday, the water's a little dirty. Oh man, I thought I had one, but I think I was hung up. bait real quick. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I got this rod and reel combo at Bass Pro. Uh, BassPro.com There's not a Bass Pro around where I'm at. So. And it's real light. This is one of the rods that uh, <clears throat> Edwin Evers, pro fisherman, major league fishing. This is what he used, and it's a great, it's a great setup. Nice and smooth. Nice rod, real light. Feel just about everything on the bottom with this rod. So it's definitely it's definitely worth the money to buy it. That's for sure. I give it an A plus. I know I talked about it before, but it's my pride and joy. Rod and reel. Looks like we're not getting nothing. I might have to change it up. I might have to change it up with the worm. Yes. 
Nothing so far. Seem like they're just not, if they're out here, they seem like they're just not interested in it. So I might change it up. I'm gonna try over there in a minute. Birds are singing the day, aren't they? Yeah. All right. Nice cast. Hopefully, I get something there. Yeah, it don't look like it. I, think I might have to change it up. Guys, I'm gonna change it up. Put a worm on here instead. Sometimes the bass just don't want a certain lure sometimes. Seems like. It's alright. Leave them and change it up with this baby. With this plum worm. It's, it's my, one of my favorite colors. Seem like it works all the time. Is this plum worm plum color? Any kind of this plum color works very well, seems like. I always have good luck with it. All right, nice little Texas rig on that. All right, let's try it now. Sometimes switching it up increases your bite. Water temperature feels real good. Great water temperature. Love about bass fishing is a lot of patience. A lot of patience. A lot of patience to try to get that bite. Bite it there. Ah, oh, we had a bite there, guys. We had a good bite there. Something's tagging it. Oh, oh. That was a bad cast. Let's redo that. Let's redo that cast. Yeah, that one in that one very good. It's a little challenge with the weeds. It's 
bit of a challenge with the weeds. For sure. Try this again. Yeah. Not going to attack at that time. Might have been a little bluegill tagging it. Possibility. I know the weather's warm. Summer heat. They might have moved to the deeper water. They're probably not shallow. Kind of fishing it real slow, dragging it off the bottom. Okay. Try to fish it slow. It's hard to fish it slow with this fast gear ratio. And it's hard to be patient fishing slow too. Try to do a steady retrieve, see how that goes. Somewhat slow, steady retrieve. Not interested today. Here's the bass. Where is the bass? Oh, something tagging it there. Tagging it. Let's try that again. Come on. Tagging. Yeah, let's try over here. Bushes. Don't know I'll catch any. It's not shady over here. Yeah. Don't look like a good spot. Let's go back. Over there, 
in the shade. vegetation down here. Come on. Come on, fishy. Oh man, I got hung up. I did get hung up. Come on. What did I get hung up on? Ow. Good boys, hung up good. Man. There we go. Broke it off. Ah, that's always a doozy. It's always a doozy, but I got it. Ah, ah, looks like I just made a mess, too. Yeah. Just made a big old mess. This is about as real as it gets when it comes to fishing, guys. I'm sure professionals do this too. You just never see them do it. Then again, they probably don't because they're professionals. <laughs> Look at that, I got it. How about that? All right. How about we put a new bait on here? How about we put another Texas rig on here? And use a different lure. How about we try one of these? See how that goes. I'll put our bullet weight on. For those that don't know how to do a Texas rig, your simple Texas rig is your nice little bullet weight. Get your hook. This is a regular one knot hook, worm hook. And 
I just tie me a regular knot. I don't know all those special knots. I know those special knots that's supposed to do like do the job of your worm setting the right way, but I don't know how to do all that. And I've caught plenty of fish just doing a regular knot. about as real amateur fishing as it gets here. And I'm sure some good old bass fishermen's probably laughing at me about, man, can't he even tie a knot. Well, I can tie a knot. Just not the right kind of knots that everybody does. But, I still catch fish. If you go on Facebook and look at my photos, I can catch some fish. Just a regular night. Anyway, you grab your worm. Do a little Texas rig on it. Skin hooker, boom, there you go. We're ready to fish again. Got my bullet weight, just like that. Now, let's try this again. How y'all liking it here? Yeah. Making sure uh, everything's good on this phone. All right, we still good. Do a few more casts. If I don't catch anything, I, we might just call it a day because I'm not really getting any bites. We tried, we tried three things. That's my third lure. I got a bite on the other one. I got hung up too, so. We can try it. Just keep on trying. trying to get that bite. Yeah, it might be getting that time of year where uh, they all out there in a the little deeper water. I kind of started fishing in the spring a little too late. late in the evening or early in the morning. Starting to get that 100 degree temperature with the, with the humidity. It's not always the greatest fishing weather, I'll tell you that. I'm pretty sure they're done spawning. Yeah, they probably went out there in the deep or deeper part where I can't get to them. That time of year is always a bummer when you're trying to fish off the bank. But doesn't mean I just give up. I always come out here and give it a shot, no matter what. I don't care what time of year it is. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. That's part of fishing. That's the fun part about fishing. You just never know what kind of day it would be. You might have a day that uh, you have a bird's nest, you can't fix it. And Throw it back in the truck and go home, drink a beer, you know? Say, 
Call the day. I tried. It was a bad day. Bad day fishing. Nothing really interesting in anything. <sighs> some stuff on my line. Get that out of here. Got out of here. Well, guys, comment down below and tell me what you think about this beautiful. Johnny Morris Platinum Series Rod and Reel Bait Caster Combo. If you ever fish with it, comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. Comment down below and if you're interested about fishing one, one of these. I love it. I guarantee you I love it. Probably my my best high quality rod and reel combo I've got. And I also have a spinning reel, which I caught a five pounder on out here. If you go on Facebook, Bank Fishing Outdoors on Facebook, you'll see it. You'll see a you see some monsters on there. There's some four pounders and five pounders. Some good ones. Have not yet hit a double digit. But that's alright. That is alright. One day I might. It's got a fish in the right spots. Hopefully get that ten pounder. Yep. Well, all right, last cast. There ain't nothing going on around here. They out there suspending the bottom, I bet. It's a nice warm day, hot day. The water's even. The water's, look at that. The water's a bit kind of warm, I believe. Yeah, it's a warm, the water's a bit warm. That tells me that they might be actually out in the bottom, in the deep. Alright, last one. Farther out there. Let's see how we do. Last one. Come on, big old five pound, six pound bass. Come on. Yeah, not going to do it, huh? Well, looks like we got skunk. Looks like we just got skunk. Off of three different lures, we got skunk. That's all right. No biggie. No biggie. Well guys, thank you for joining this channel. Click down below, tell me what you think. And push that like button, even though I got skunk and I ain't catching no bass. Tell me what you think about the rod and reel combo. And even though we didn't catch nothing, I still have fun fishing. So remember, have fun fishing, and we'll see you again next time, guys. Thank you.